So, the day that Liverpool fans have been dreading has finally come. Jurgen Klopp is no longer the manager of Liverpool Football Club and damn, it hurts so much. It's been a few days since Liverpool's final match of the season where Jurgen Klopp made his final appearance as Liverpool manager. I remember so vividly the day that Klopp officially announced his departure, the Twitter notification popping up on my phone and my heart dropping because I never thought the day would come that he would actually be leaving. Even at his previous two clubs, he was in charge for seven years and although he did not leave on the highest of highs, he still left on his own accord and as a legend that was loved by both Mainz and Dortmund fans. And last season was a disappointing one for Liverpool, no doubt. And I remember there were talks at the time saying that it was looking like the beginning of the end for Klopp at Liverpool. But then we got through that and came back stronger this season. But whilst the tail end has been quite disastrous, earlier in the season when Klopp announced he would be leaving, Liverpool were still fighting in all competitions. And it truly felt that Klopp was rebuilding the squad once again, bringing in young players and letting go of those who had been way past their best years. So when the announcement dropped, it was a true shock to the system for the whole football world. And last Sunday was such an emotional day for everyone associated with Liverpool Football Club. Even days leading up to it, the Jurgen Klopp content all over social media was beautifully bittersweet. And on the fateful day, the city of Liverpool certainly let Klopp know how much he is appreciated. Whilst there was a game to be played, everyone knew that the game was not the priority. But even still, the Reds were able to come out with the victory and gave Klopp the right send-off. And the atmosphere was fantastic from beginning to end, with the fans giving Klopp the send-off he deserves. The banners, also one of the most beautiful renditions of You'll Never Walk Alone I've ever heard. And it was also a nice touch from the home fans in the first few minutes of the game, when they went through the whole Liverpool songbook, rattling through the many famous songs of players that we were lucky enough to witness play for the club during Klopp's tenure. But, Goals from McAllister and Kwanzaa were enough to get the Reds the win on Sunday. And it's quite poetic that Kwanzaa scored the final goal under Klopp's tenure because he has bedded in some young talent over the years. This year alone, he's had to interest the youth who played a key role in the cup games especially. But after the game, Klopp with his backroom staff as well as players that were all departing this season were able to receive their flowers from the Anfield crowd. Klopp addressed the crowd for a final time as Liverpool manager, giving an emotional speech expressing the love that he has for the club. This was definitely the point when reality really started to kick in and the emotions were high. It feels like Klopp always knows the right thing to say at the perfect moment. And he speaks so well, better than I ever could despite English being his second language. Even if some of the things he said in the past annoyed supporters of other clubs, that made us love him even more. But one of the most heart-wrenching moments was seeing Trent Alexander-Arnold break down. A player that Klopp gave a chance when he was literally a young teenager to now, many years later, where they've won every trophy together. Klopp has seen Trent grow from essentially a child into a man. And Klopp, as Liverpool manager, is all Trent has ever known. That moment during pre-season where Klopp revealed to Trent that he was becoming the new vice captain was priceless. It was also heartbreaking to see Van Dijk break down in tears as he embraced Klopp, another player who owes a lot to Klopp. It doesn't feel that long ago that Liverpool and Van Dijk were looking like they were never destined to be together after the move fell apart in the summer of 2017. But thanks to heavens, in the January transfer window later that season, the move would finally materialise and we have not looked back since. But one specific moment during his speech that sums up Klopp for me was when he started a chant for Liverpool's next manager. Hard slot. On a day that was completely dedicated to him, he made sure to remind the fans not to chant his name next season, starting an onslaught chant and by doing so, already starting a connection with Slot and the fans before he's even arrived. He also made it his point for the Liverpool fans to give 100% or welcome in the new manager as they did with him so many years ago. Whilst the Jurgen Klopp era is officially over, he gave us fans the memories of a lifetime. During the nine years he was at the helm, he provided us with nine trophies winning all but the Europa League. But when I look back on Klopp's tenure, it won't be just about the silverware. The moments that stand out for me will always be the connection he had with the people. For example, in 2018, when Liverpool had lost the Champions League final to Real Madrid, in the hotel the morning after, he was still in good spirits, singing with the Liverpool fans, and how he would bring it back to Liverpool. Bring it back to Liverpool. We the 
guess what? Only a year later, he fulfilled his promise. While rival fans can point out that Klopp only won one Premier League title, let's not forget Klopp has had to fight against a financial juggernaut that is Manchester City, who have been charged 115 times. Let's not forget. Without Klopp's title win, City would have won seven league titles in a row. We must never forget that Liverpool lost out on the title twice by one point and the margins were unbelievably close. I also frequently see rival fans constantly saying that Klopp has only won one Premier League title, the same as Leicester. And to that I say that only three managers have won both the Premier League and the Champions League for one club. And Jurgen Klopp is one of them. And let's talk about one of his many famous quotes. This means more. And it's not just some throwaway comment or a bitter jab at other clubs, but it rings true. And this is why. So during the final week of the season, the noise surrounding the Premier League was not if Man City could win a historic quadruple. It was instead about Jurgen Klopp. And that's not just coming from a biased Liverpool fan. According to reliable journalist James Pearce, not only were viewing numbers on TV and YouTube higher for Klopp's farewell compared to Man City's title celebrations, but Liverpool also had the most social media engagement by some distance. And if that isn't enough, I must reiterate that Man City are under investigation for cheating. And if found guilty, there will be huge asterisks under every trophy they've won in recent years. And whilst trophies are important, no doubt, it's certainly not everything. Otherwise, 99% of football clubs should not even bother trying. Supporters of those clubs may never see their team win silverware, but that does not mean they are constantly miserable. No, because football is much more than that. And that's what Klopp is trying to get across with that saying. But to be honest, it's one thing for us fans like myself to express admiration for Klopp. But I think what's most telling is what people within the sport say about him. I'm sure you've seen all the tributes and thank you posts on social media from players, but I highly recommend you seek out this video if you haven't already, where players that have played under Klopp share some of their favorite moments with him. But the one that stands out the most is when Alisson talks about how much Klopp was there for him during the darkest moment of his life when he unfortunately lost his father. These are the things that I will miss the most about him. And on a personal level, he's given me, someone who is obsessed with this football club, some of the best moments of my life. Before Klopp, the Liverpool I supported were mediocre. We were not fighting for league titles or cups. And in nine incredible years, he's put Liverpool back where they belong, among the world's most elite football clubs. And whilst there are definitely improvements for Liverpool to be made in the summer, Klopp has certainly left the club in a good state. The squad still has the experience and the quality of your Salas, Van Dijk's and Allisons, mixed with younger talent like Elliot, Jones and Soberslight. Not to mention some really promising youth talent like Kwanzaa and Bradley that have made huge strides this season alone. His successor will be in good hands, with Michael Edwards also back at the helm, who has a proven track record. To end this video, I just want to reiterate how special of a man Jurgen Klopp is. I believe that Klopp and Liverpool Football Club were a genuine perfect match, down to the way Klopp speaks, to the things he stands for, which also aligns with how the city of Liverpool feel. For the longest time, whenever you think of Liverpool Football Club, you can't help but to think of Jurgen Klopp. It's hard to put into words how much this man means to myself and many others, how much we will all miss him. But there is also a real sense of excitement for what's to come in the near future. I must say that one of the silver linings with Klopp leaving is him opening an Instagram account. Just know that whatever he shares online, we will all be following along. With that being said, that is all for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. And to Jurgen Klopp, until we meet again.